Hey, welcome back. Race Craze here with another diecast review. This one here is going to be Kyle Larson's 2017 Fontana Xfinity race win. Uh, this one here was ran in the, I want to say, third, fourth race of the year uh, when he won this race, and then he swept and won the whole weekend. So we'll start here with the box. Um, standard Xfinity, actually standard race win box, just changes with the uh, color of the sticker and the Xfinity logo. Um, we've got a render of the car on the front there, 2017 race winner. Go over this side, we've got uh, one of 500 for the Enyo's uh, Fontana race win and our 2017 race schedule on that side. So it came with a um, winner card here. Um, number of cautions, 743 laps, led 21 laps, started 7th. Six different liters and uh, 300 miles. Then we also get this piece here. This is the the winner sticker for the Xfinity Series. Um, I'll figure out something to do with these. I'm gonna start sticking them on my shelf for I don't know. I'll, I'll find somewhere to, to go with those though. I think that they're a neat neat piece to have with a collection. So on to the diecast itself. Um, it's the Xfinity tooling from 2017. So you know. Brace yourself for quality, I guess. I mean, I'm I'm honestly a huge, uh, I guess you'd say, opposing <laughs> fan of these. I don't care for them very much. Um, as you can see, they don't they don't sit well on the front of the car because there's no detail. It's just solid plastic, which is honestly the biggest reason I was I'm worried about this year's Cup diecast 2018. I have yet to get one, um, but if they sit as high up and don't you know, sit kind of nicely on the chassis, I'll probably just move on to just holding trucks and a couple elites, but it's, um, you know, the way the car looks is important, they said, and they wanted to make the price better, okay, fine, but it doesn't look good, I mean, it sits so high up, you know, this, that doesn't look very good, um, the William Byron ones, they don't look very good, it's, the paint schemes can look great, but when they sit that far up, they have that much gap, and there's no way to lower them without having to buy a chassis off an old one and try to swap it, that's not fun. That's that's expensive. So hopefully they can get them leveled out and make them look a little better, but the only time will tell. So down the left side here, though, we do have the painted lug nuts, tire detail there. Uh, pretty clean on this left side here. A uh, couple little marks here there, a little bit of dirt over here. Uh, upside down winter sticker, uh, Kyle Larson, I don't know, didn't know which way to put it, eh, could be a joke, funny thing there. Um, on to the back bumper, we have our Camaro rear end, we have the camera, Enyo's, uh, the spoiler for 2017, Larson on the back window. Over to the right side, we've got, ah, that's the whole reason I bought this car, it's nice scrape down the wall, um, you know. It would look better on a better sitting chassis, I think. But that's unfortunately just part of it. If we can, you know, get past the ugly looking chassis part, uh, the body work on this is actually extremely cool. Um, so good luck, Kent. I'm not really sure what that was from or what it was about, but good luck, Kent, wherever you are, whoever you are, and whatever you're doing. Um, then we got 42. All kind of cleans up when you get closer to the front. A little bit of dirt and dust up there. Um, on the front here, we got little marks by all the hood pins. We've got a little bit of marking on the grill here, a little bit of scuffs, a little bit of dirt. Not too bad. And Xfinity up on the windshield banner. And then under the hood here, we have um, a excuse of a motor. Um, you know, I, I don't want to degrade Lionel too bad because they are trying to do something different. It just, you know, Xfinity cars, you know, don't have the popularity. So then, you know, they don't want to pay the higher price. I get that. But you gotta have some quality within the chat. I mean, this this is like a twenty dollar Walmart car. I, mean, I shouldn't say twenty. This is about a thirty dollar Walmart car. You know, there's some neat detail to the paint, but outside of the paint, the quality is is very lacking. I mean, these these don't even turn. They don't even turn. I bought a car from Walmart in two thousand eight, had steering wheels, better engine detail, and completely honest, it was better of, of it was a better car. I mean. You could actually push it up and down. It had a little bit of bend in the suspension. This, solid as a rock. Just wheels around on there. I mean, it, you know, it's it's literally... These aren't even individual wheels. 
It's wheels on an axle. These are both wheels on an axle. And then it's just a plastic frame underneath with one, two painted components. And you're telling me it needs to be $50? I, I just, yeah, I don't. This is why I won't buy Xfinity diecast because unless I go to the race and, you know, meet, get the race win because I was at it, you know, then I'll do it and I'll probably chassis swap it to something to make it look nicer and make it fit better. But, I mean, I just can't get behind this diecast. I can get by with the trucks. I think they're at $44 a piece. Um, is the current truck tooling, and that's fine, um, because their inside chassis looks good. They're, they, yeah, the hood may not open, but the back bars have good detail, the chassis inside has good detail, and it looks good when it sits. It sits up on your shelf like this, and there's a huge gap, and they're sitting that far off the ground, you're, you're, you're not gonna like it. When you see a huge gap in the wheel well, you're not gonna like it. So, again, I don't, I don't like to rip on things that bad for that long, but, this is one thing, it, it is really frustrating um, when you put these next to the older uh, Xfinity Series Camaros and the detail was so much higher and then they dropped, for some reason these are 50 bucks this year and meh, I don't, I, I don't want to buy one of these for 50 bucks, this sucks, you know, for 50 bucks. It's good, it's a nice car if you can get it for 40, 35, 30, somewhere in that range. But, you know, for basically no engine detail, I'd rather them just cut the detail and set the chassis lower so it actually looks good and work on the detail on the inside. If the detail, if you had a non-hood open, detailed interior, and then the car actually sat right, so it looked right on a, on, you know, when you set it like that, it looks really good because it's going to be lower, it's going to have detailed wheels, it's going to be sitting right, and if it had a little bit of flex in the chassis so you, it could, you know have a potential to be lowered i can get behind that but I, I just i can't get behind this xfinity tooling i i i just they gotta make some type of change for me personally to go after it if everyone else loves it you know they keep on going but it, for me it's uh definitely a no-go but you know i bought it for for what it is and i've got a couple of byron's coming because i like uh, byron as a as a driver um, I got a Ryan Priest Iowa win that I went to, so I got that coming as well. So I've got a few of them coming anyway, even though I'm not super, super thrilled about it. Um, or at least super thrilled about the, the detail, but I'll get over it a little bit. But I'm definitely, you know, unless I have to, I'm not touching any of these cars. They're just, they're not worth it quality-wise. So I hope they change it and can find a good mix in between. Um, here in the next year or so, so that way we can start getting some cool Xfinity diecast. But otherwise, I'll probably just stick with trucks and, and cup. So uh, this has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next video.